Hey, these are the answers to practice 3.2. Uh, first problem, band director at a high school wants to know what percent of parents support a decrease in the budget for fine arts. Because many parents attend the school's annual musical, the director surveys the first 30 parents to arrive at the show. Explain why this sampling method is biased. Um, is the proportion of students probably higher or lower than all the students. Okay, so our population is all the students in this, all the parents in the school. So do you think the first 30 people that come to a musical are gonna be supportive or not supportive of fine arts? Supportive, of course, they're probably parents, right? They wanna get good seats to watch the kids. So are they gonna be wanting a decrease in the budget? No, those parents are definitely not. This is a convenient sample. Okay, the first 30 people at a musical will have a higher percentage supporting the arts and therefore do not do not support decreased funding for the arts okay so not only do we say why is it biased but also the direction of it as well we think it's going to be overestimating okay Number two, uh, quality control department at an automobile factory checks the tightness of motor mounting bolts installed by assembly line workers by sampling the first 25 cars produced, the first 25 cars at an assembly line each day. So think about if they do like a thousand cars, is the first 25 good? Explain why the sampling method is biased, okay? And is it overestimating or underestimating? Okay, so if you think about the first 25 cars representing all the cars in a day would not be a good, it's a convenient sample again. It's easy to get this the first, first couple. The first 25 cars is not a good representation of all cars made that day okay my guess would be that those first 25 cars the employees are coming in rested they're ready to go they're ready to work uh, by the end of the day they might be getting a little bit more tired they might not be doing as good of a work um, they're, they're, yeah, their quality of work might be worse so I think the percentage of cars that are okay produce correctly I'll say is higher in the first 25 than the whole population okay so I think those first 25 cards are probably going to be better, uh, better made than the rest of them. Okay. Next one. Many websites include customer reviews of products, restaurants, hotels, and so on. The manager of a hotel was upset to see that 26% of the viewers on the website gave the hotel a one rating, the, pot, the lowest possible rating. Explain why you think this is biased. And is 25% greater? or less than what you think the, all the customers think, okay? I think that those, okay, so this is, this is called a voluntary response. Only those that want to respond to this survey are gonna put a response in there, right? So think about who is, what kind of person is going to voluntarily give the response, okay? Those that had a bad experience want to complain about it, right? 
those that had a good experience or just a okay experience, they're they're not going to take the time to do this 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 survey. So we're going to say um, only those who had a bad experience. are more likely to respond. OK? Um, the percent of one stars is higher in the sample than for the entire population. Okay. Okay, next one. Illegal immigration. So TV commentator Lou Dobbs doesn't like illegal immigration. One of his shows was largely devoted to attacking a proposal to offer driver's license to illegal immigrants. During the show, Jobs invited his viewers to his website and vote on the question, would you be more or less likely to vote for a presidential candidate who supports driver license to illegal aliens. 97% of that many people voted that they're less likely to vote for somebody. Is this biased? Okay, so first of all, let's think about who's going to be listening to this guy's show? Okay, people that support him in his point of view, right? So is it more likely that people that are listening to his show are going to phone in or whatever that is on his website. Go to his website and actually respond. Yes, definitely. This is a voluntary response. Only those listening to his show who already have a have a biased response will respond to a survey. Okay. Therefore, percent supporting will be higher than the population. OK. OK, number five is asking us for the fine arts problem. What, how can we do that in a better way? So in the fine arts problem here, remember they were only going to the musical. OK, so they we want to do it do it randomly. Pick, choose, choose parents randomly. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, maybe create a list of all parents. And randomly choose um, 100 parents to respond. OK, so then we get a good sampling of people that support the arts and don't support the arts and so forth. OK, number six is asking us about um, the, the hotel viewers, okay? So how can he get, how could this manager of this, this hotel get a better representation of what his people actually think about the hotel stay? Um, he could get a list of everyone who has stayed at the hotel 
and call them. Well, I'm not going to call everyone and randomly choose. I'm just going to say 100 people to survey. <coughs> and then in that survey, he'd probably want to make phone calls. Okay, if you just create a, uh, a letter that you send out to them, probably a lot of them won't respond. Okay, next one. Sammy wants to know what percent of students at her school have driver's licenses. She surveys the students in her stats class and finds that 68% of the students... Okay, so our whole population is the whole school. Do you think the people in her stats class are going to be a good representation of everyone in the school? Probably not. Um, what kind of sample? She did a conven convenience sample. The students in stats class is not a good representation. of entire school. Okay, that's part A. Part B, what type of sample, um, sorry, B, explain why this sampling is biased. Okay, I kind of did that in part A. Um, well, I didn't really. Um, those in the stats are older. Okay. If you think about our stats class, it's pretty much all seniors. There's a couple of juniors, but I don't, not many. Uh, they're all older, therefore more likely to have a driver's license. Okay. Part C, how could they avoid that bias? How could they do it randomly? Okay. So... Um, get a list of all students randomly select students to survey okay and the last question number eight Hey, to fund a program to buy electronic tablets for every second grade student in Springdale Public Schools, the Board of Edu Education proposes a 5% increase in property taxes. One local, Golden Oldies, radio station asked listeners to call in their voice to support for or oppose the proposal. They find that 78% are opposed. Okay, What kind of sample did they choose? Uh, they got a voluntary response. People could choose to, to call in. Okay. Part B, why is it 78% likely to be greater than or less than the percent? Okay. 78% uh, is most likely late, greater than the true population percentage. Okay. Because why? Um, golden oldies. A golden oldies radio station um, has older people, on general, generally anyway, listening, and those people are less likely to support more of their money <laughs> for education because most of them don't care about education at that point in their lives. They just want to keep as much money as they can to themselves so that they can live in retirement. Okay. Part C, how could they avoid the bias? Uh, they could create a list of 
all citizens in town. And they could randomly select um, a number of citizens to survey. Be much more accurate. Okay, that's the homework.